After nine years living in San Diego, I'm moving across the country to Washington, D.C. There are a number of reasons for the move, most of them personal and career. So a little bit of background on me. And I currently live in a studio apartment in the Bankers Hill neighborhood of San Diego. Um, this apartment that I live in now, I absolutely adore it. It's in a beautiful building that's a 1920s Spanish revival style. I've got a ton of natural light in this apartment, original flooring, including hard hardwood floors, and then in the kitchen and the bathroom, original tile from the 1920s, which is super neat. Um, I've got a, my own private entrance to this unit, which is unique for this building. I've got a beautiful tall shower. Um, I've got tall ceilings and crown moldings. And I'm just a few blocks away from Balboa Park. I feel really spoiled to live in such a lovely space. And it really has helped my mental health to live in a space that's beautiful and inspiring. And But, you know, to, to sort of pay for that trade-off, you know, my apartment is small. I live in, I want to say about 450 square feet. I actually really enjoyed downsizing my life and becoming more of a minimalist this year. It feels freeing and um, I'd like to continue that type of lifestyle when I move to Washington, D.C. So having a beautiful space is more important to me than having a lot of square footage. So I've got about six weeks left in San Diego. My mom lives in Ohio, so she flew to Washington, D.C. and met me there to help me do some apartment hunting. <music> five different buildings in four different neighborhoods, Noma, H Street, Navy Yard, and Crystal City. My budget is $18.50 or less, preferably, for a studio or a one bedroom, probably a studio. Okay, so here's the wish list. First, it's got to be centrally located, near a metro, and in a walkable neighborhood. I'm planning to sell my car. You do not need a vehicle to live in the District of Columbia if you live near a metro line. It's one of the best public transportation um, systems in the country, in my opinion. I lived in Washington, D.C. 12 years ago, and I did have a car back then, but I rarely used it. I'd love to have like restaurants nearby, coffee shops bars and just sort of, um, especially because I work from home. So I'm going to want to get out and walk around like I do here in San Diego. It's great that I'm near a bunch of stuff. I'm right next to the park. You know, so it'd be great to live in a neighborhood that's nice to walk around in. It's got to be close to a grocery store. Again, because I'm selling my vehicle, the neighborhood has to be safe because I'm a single woman. I don't know why I just did that. I want something that's non-grimy. It's non-grimy. Okay, so I live in California, which is an expensive place to live. And for many years, I lived on the beach. And one of the things that I hated so much is that the rents were so high because you're right on the beach and the landlords didn't really keep up the apartments that well because they knew that, you know, people would pay a million dollars a month to live near the beach, um, no matter what the condition of the apartment was. And so I felt like for much of my 20s, I was living in these outdated kind of grimy, older style apartments and I'm not doing that anymore. We're a grown up now. We are living in something nice. And like I said, I want to be inspired by my space. I want to feel good in this space that I'm spending like so much of my day in. I would love there to be some amenities. It'd be great if there was a co-working space or if there were beautiful grounds for me to just kind of like change up the energy you know sometimes a pool is a bonus i don't need a pool uh because i think as long as you have one friend who has a pool like you're good but yeah a pool would be great i love for there to be a lot of natural light that's probably not negotiable especially because you know now i'm filming videos i've got to have you know i'm sitting right next to my big beautiful window in my current apartment which has beautiful natural light it makes it so much easier Hardwood floors, 
mm, pretty much non-negotiable for me. I'll do a carpet in a bedroom, but that's about it. And lastly, it's got to have enough storage for my things. I live a pretty minimalist lifestyle, but I also own and operate a business. And so I do have like a little bit of business storage and supplies and other things that need to go somewhere. And so it's got to have a decent closet situation. All right, let's go. Let's go apartment hunting. <laughs> So I packed a charging cable that didn't work, so we had to run up to Target and <laughs> be really resourceful. The first neighborhood we visited was Noma, which is located near the Capitol, Union Station, and Gallaudet University. We toured two different buildings there. This first building, as you can see, is modern and trendy, and it's got beautiful amenities. I love that there are so many different common spaces for working, especially because the apartments that I'm looking at are quite small. The gym here is pretty nice. I like that they had stair climbers. And now onto the good stuff. Here's the actual unit itself. Now, this is not the studio unit that I would be renting, but just a general one bedroom that was available for me. Uh, this one bedroom would be out of my budget, but immediately I love that there's a lot of natural light, good hardwood flooring. The fixtures are updated and modern. Um, I like the tile backsplash in the kitchen. There's good closets, and in all of these apartments, you'll see that there is an in-unit washer and dryer. Like so. The actual unit that I would be renting in this building, if I were to choose it, would be um, quite smaller than this at 396 square feet <laughs> and $18.50 a month. Essentially, if you chop off this bedroom portion, um, you get the actual size of the apartment. The place is very nice. It has lots of amenities. Yes. Um, the finishes are great. The finishes are great. The gym is beautiful. There's a rooftop pool. The neighborhood's great. And I think the storage would be a bit of a problem with 386 feet. Yeah, I think if we had the storage that was in the one bedroom, it would be fine. Right. We just had to walk up the street to get to building number two. This building was not quite as modern or trendy as building number one, but it was still nice with a lot of amenities, common spaces for working. There were two different gyms in the building. There's a rooftop pool with fire pits. Here's gym number two. It doesn't feel quite as homey to me, this building, as the first one, but it's still very nice. The units themselves were lovely with hardwood floors, lots of natural light, modern appliances. Uh, this particular unit has dark fixtures. I know half of this building has light fixtures, but I don't mind it. The one thing I didn't like about this apartment was that you had to, basically there was a mandatory cable and internet package which added uh, about $200 per month onto your rent and I don't actually want cable. But the unit itself is lovely. It had plenty of storage. spent the rest of the afternoon playing tourist. There's the capital. We made friends with this guy, although that boat didn't go our way. 
and hung out in different parts of the city, had dinner with a friend. A lovely first day in DC. The next neighborhood we visited was H Street, which is directly behind Union Station. This building didn't have very many amenities. It did have a gym. It had a, a small common area and also a courtyard. But that's really it. It was much smaller than the other buildings. And in this building, we toured three different units. And the first thing I noticed was just, there were some things in the apartment that didn't quite make sense like that. Uh, and it's an older building. The appliances, at least the fridge looks kind of newish, but there's no backsplash and the cabinetry looked pretty basic. The blinds were cheap and this apartment seemed a little dark to me. But the prices in this building were quite lower than the other buildings. It was also quite a bit of a walk from the metro, maybe a little too far. Again, this, this unit, this is the second one. It is quite dark in my opinion for their, for such a big window. And then, okay, so this was the part of the apartment that I just didn't really understand. This feels like I would be living in a clothing store. We don't want to live in a clothing store. Like what, what is this? I mean, plenty of storage space, yes, functionally, great, but aesthetically, no. Now, this unit was not bad at all. It was facing a different side of the building, so it had much more light, and as you can see, the kitchen looks a little bit updated compared to the first two units, but I'm not sure that I like it. On the whole though, this building had bigger apartments than the others. The next building is located in Navy Yard, which is right next to the baseball stadium. And this particular building was literally right next to the Metro, which is a huge win. There are two towers in this particular building, um, each with great amenities, uh, plenty of common spaces to work in. There was a gym. There are little recreational things that you can do here in this building. And it's modern and trendy-ish without being like super trendy. I like this lap pool. And the units were just amazing. Now, the units that we toured were two and three bedrooms. Um, so it's a little bit of a cheat. And they were also cheating because they were corner units, which means, you know, they're gonna have a lot more light. And they were staged. And let me tell you something, the staging of these apartments really does something for me. It is really serving, don't you think? But I, I did love these units so much. There's plenty of natural light. And even though we're looking at corner units, I know that there's good light in all of these units because I could see the floor to ceiling windows on the outside of the building in every unit. It's a wonderful location. All the fixtures and appliances are updated with um, beautiful tile backsplash in the kitchen. Look at that. Looks like there are hardwood floors throughout. Plenty of closet space. I love that there's a good entry hallway in these uh, apartments as well. That sort of makes an apartment feel a little bit more like a home in my opinion. This unit, I believe, is a three bedroom. And this particular building is, as you can probably guess, at the top of my budget. But the studio units are not that small. I think the units in this building range between 450 and 600 square feet, which is a good size. 
Look at that beautiful kitchen. The last building we looked at is in Crystal City, which is just one metro stop across the river in Arlington, Virginia. Now, fun fact, I lived in this building 12 years ago. So I kind of wanted to tour it as a backup option. And they really did update it. It looks so much different than when I lived here before. It's got uh, a lot of great common areas, a good gym, but this is an older building. And you get a lot more bang for your buck in terms of square footage. But as you can see, the fixtures are pretty basic. There are parts of the apartment that are still, you know, you can tell that they're older. But there's a lot of um, good storage in this apartment. And there's carpet in the bedrooms. Actually, touring this particular one bedroom sort of made me feel like a flashback to uh, years ago when I lived in this uh, building because I, I actually lived in a one bedroom that was laid out this way. So lots of space. I believe this one bedroom is about 850 square feet. You can see how old the building looks, but there's a, you know, a lot of uh, natural light in the living room at least. Kind of dated tile floors in the kitchen, but decent appliances. Mom and I had such a great trip. We had lots of adventures. We hung out with stuff. We ate tapas. We ate a lot of food, actually. We traipsed around the whole city, rode on the metro, saw the metro dancers. I feel like we were productive. I'm pleased with how we spent our time and how many buildings that we saw. I haven't uh, made a final decision yet, but I'm leaning towards two options and I will probably share with you later what those are. I am a little scared and nervous to make such a big life change, especially because I feel like pretty established in San Diego and I've made a ton of friends and, and I'm really deeply involved in the community. And this place is, it means so much to me. I mean, it'll always be my second hometown. Oh my God. Uh, okay, hold it in, hold it in girl. <laughs> I feel strongly that this is the right move for me and I'm very excited about the adventure and it felt really good to try the city on. So I'm pretty stoked and I'll have to let you know how, uh, how everything turns out. If you're still watching, drop a pizza emoji in the comments so I know you're a real one. Like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel.